In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a signature in two different ways. First of all, we're going to use the pencil tool. And this might be the way to go if you have a Wacom tablet. Secondly, I'm going to do the very same thing by using the pen tool. And I have uh, taken a picture of a signature I made on a piece of paper and imported this. So that's a picture we're going to use later on. But first of all, if we're going to do it with a pencil tool, make sure your settings are like these. Fidelity to 3 pixels, smoothness to 0%. Press OK. And by the way, uh, I got uh, that dialog box by double-clicking on the small icon for the pencil tool. We're also going to change the properties of the stroke. Make sure the middle ones are selected. Also, let's make sure your fill color is set to none and the stroke to black. Okay. We're going to modify these paths in some ways. First of all, let's uh, remove redundant anchor points. By pressing A for the direct selection tool, I can select the anchor point at the very far end, and go to the pencil tool, choose delete anchor point tool and press once. And we'll repeat this process for every instance of redundant anchor points. That's about it. The second step could be to select everything, go to Object, Path, Simplify. By pushing these sliders to the very far right, we'll get back to the original state. But please uh, look at the signature as I successively press the slider to the left. The more I push it to the left, the more a, s a simplified, minimalistic looking signature I'll get. Let's go for something like this. Press OK. That's one way of doing it. Now we're going to take a look at how to do it with a pencil tool. By double clicking on this layer, I can transform it into a template layer. As I do this, it automatically dims down to 50% opacity and the layer is locked, so I now I, at the moment I cannot select it nor move it. I created a new layer on top of my, my first version of the signature using the pencil tool. If I should quickly go through the basics of the pen tool, I would like to say that um, if I just press once as I proceed, I will get corner points. If I'm, when I'm done, I hold down command, just press once to have it unselected. If I do this once more, but this time, as I press, I hold down and push the anchor point handles in some way. As I do this repeatedly, you'll see that instead of anchor po the corner points, I get smooth anchor points. You have the possibility to transform a corner point into a smooth anchor point by pressing Shift and C, or going to the pen tool and choose Convert Anchor Point tool. If I push and hold down, and move the handles in some way, they are transformed into a smooth anchor point. Let me demonstrate this by making a circle 
Then go to the Direct Selection tool by pressing A. Choose the anchor point at the top. Move it upwards and then Shift C to get to the Convert Anchor Point tool. Press once. I made a something that is uh, looking like a water droplet. Let's go to the, on the pen tool by pressing P and start from the beginning. Just press once for a straight line and then when I press this next time I'll hold down and move it upwards. OK, we're set. Now for the final touch. If I would like to change the width of the paths, I'll have to head over to this width tool. With this tool selected, I can just make a point and push it in some direction to make it thicker or thinner. I can have multi multiple points on a single path. There we go. Maybe we should put them next to each other. And maybe just quickly. There we go. Maybe this was a bit over the top. Better. Two different looks achieved with two different methods.